everybody, it's Will from Trail Attraction. Today, our DIY is Whiskey Barrel Valances for a 1965 Airstream Carabelle. So stay tuned. So the first step in making Whiskey Barrel Valances is uh, measuring how wide you need to make them. Um, our space from 10 wall to the end of the window is 74 inches right there. So we're gonna add about two inches uh, to give us room to attach it to the wall and have our window treatments underneath be able to kind of tuck away in there. All right. So easy enough to lay out my pieces. I don't know if you can see that. So my workbench is exactly 76 inches wide. So I just laid the boards across and surprisingly, uh, I had a spare piece in it. Three and uh, my spare piece came out to exactly 76 inches. So um, as you can see, there's three or four pieces here that are not structurally supporting each other in any way. So how I go about supporting them is I add an aluminum L bracket to the back. Something like this, you can pick it up at Home Depot. Uh, really cheap, really easy to cut, use, drill holes. Very strong though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, drill some holes and get these lined up and suspend or uh, screw this into the backing of these whiskey, whiskey barrel boards. So real quick, since we took this off the old build out, there's a bunch of trim nails in here. I gotta tap those out before I can uh, put my aluminum on the back. So I got about one nail into that and decided that I was just going to use my angle grinder and uh, cut the uh, trim nails out. That way I didn't have a bunch of holes on the face of my board. Um, just the best decision. All right, so now I'm gonna attach the aluminum to the back. We got the aluminum L bracket on the back of these boards. You can see it's now a single unit and that's gonna sit right over the window. But uh, we're gonna attach one end, this end right here, with the standard L bracket to our tin wall. It's gonna dead end into it. So that's an easy one. So on this end, this far end, uh, we gotta uh, make an end piece for it. It's gonna be a shorter board that's uh, right angled here into the end of our valance. Now the trick cut is we have a curved wall. So how do we go about getting that angle? I use this neat little uh, tool that uh, basically can take an impression of angles or curves up to about two feet wide or 20 inches wide. So what I can do, set this against my wall and uh, match the curve and then uh, trace that onto my my board here so I'll show you that all right here's the wall and the window curtains that are uh, the balance is gonna cover so you just get that fixed up take it to the, the wall where I'm gonna have the curve I align the top where I want the top of my my board to be I press these in Now I'm not perfectly 90 here, but I'm gonna get a good estimate, as good as I can guesstimate on that curve. Pretty bold curve. So I'm gonna take that to my board now. All right, so I got my uh, 
template of the wall, the curve mapped out. So I need to measure out uh, the end piece. I'm gonna make it four and a half inches just to match the look of the other balances. Make my cuts. All right, the last part, just before we can put this on the wall, is I've made my cut that matches the wall. I need to attach it to the rest of the balance at, this, uh, at the L brackets, and then we can hang her, so I'll show you that. I want to show you all the, the fitting. Um, I don't have enough hands to put this up on myself, so my buddy's gonna come over in a bit and help me and I can show you all the finished product. I wanted to give y'all an idea real quick that the fit is right, looks great. So once he comes over, I'll uh, update y'all with, with the finished look. Mm -hmm. 